Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own corn tortillas from scratch. Okay, so first it's gonna start off with really good corn. We have this purple heirloom corn, and then I have some yellow dent corn. I'll leave links down below on where to find this corn. Now, do both corns in water with our calcium citrate, link down below for that as well. And then we're just gonna bring them to a simmer, let them simmer for about 30 minutes. Remove them from the heat. Okay, I'm just gonna let these guys sit overnight, let them do their thing, and then we'll start. The next day. Now, once we uncover them, it should look like this. Now we're gonna give them a little rinsey rinse. The purpose of the calcium citrate bath is to remove that outer hole. It makes the corn basically impossible to cook. So we're just removing the hole here in this process. We're gonna rinse until the water becomes clear, just like this, very clear water. Good to go, same thing with the purple corn as well. I'm gonna show you the grinding process, but before I do that, I'm gonna take you to one of the restaurants I work at so you can see how we grind it there. Alright, what's going on, man? Hey, so just grinding some yellow corn for our fresh handmade tortillas. Going through the volcanic stones that are just grinding it up, making sure we got it at the right coarseness, right moisture level. Everything's sitting pretty, though. Okay, so obviously you don't have one of these giant commercial grinders. I tried using this KitchenAid grinder mill, which I thought would work out. It should have been cool, but it just didn't work. It really sucked. So that's a no-go. Now I'll tell you what does work. One of these food processors from KitchenAid. It's only 20 bucks and it works great. Look how smooth I got the masa here. So I'll leave a link down below for this as well. $20, find it on Amazon. Leave the link down below. We have the corn examples right here. I also mixed the blue and yellow together. I thought it looked pretty neat. So now we're just going to portion them out so they're all equal sizes. You don't have to weigh them out. I just do that because I like to be precise. Cover it with a towel so it doesn't dry out. Get yourself a metal press. Hard metal. You don't want any of that knockoff plastic stuff. Trust me. I've been there. It's the worst. I use Ziploc bags and I cut them up. This is the best way to go. So put that down. Give it a little smush. And then we're just going to press it. Not too hard though. We don't want to make our tortillas sad. And just go ahead and press them out pretty flat and there we have a beautiful purple heirloom tortilla now as i do love the purple i have to say the yellow is my favorite it has the best texture now you're going to need a cast iron skillet i love this one it's been everywhere with me different pop-up dinners in new york everywhere get yourself one like this i'll leave a link down below for this as well oil it up with a rag and then we're just going to throw our tortillas down it should be on screaming high heat once you notice the edges start to come up like this, give it a flip, and then it should puff up a little bit. Now the tortillas are fine to eat right off the kamal like this, but I will say, texture is far better once it comes out of the container you're holding it in. So you want to hold it in a container with a towel. I'm using a pot in this instance and a towel, covering it with a lid. Let those kind of sit in there for a couple minutes. Once you remove them, the texture is just so much softer and it's just way different from when it comes off of the stove. You'll notice the difference. Give it a try. And now that you have your tortillas, go ahead and make yourself some tacos. I like to do South Texas style, Rio Grande Valley style tacos with this acid trip hot sauce I made a while back on the channel. Go check that out as well. Let me know if you want a video on that. Hey everybody, I totally forgot to film an outro, sorry. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. Share your stuff on Instagram and tag me on there so I can share your stuff, I love to do that. Uh, comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.